Did I just do that? Well, definitely with my assistance. I did not just do that. We did. I just moved shit with my mind. Perhaps our connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just moved shit with my mind. I just keep hearing I, I, I. I just moved shit with my freaking mind! <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, talk to sentient cuffs, kill jacked up beasts. You know what? I'll probably fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there was a line. If you could just master these new abilities, with my help, of course. Um, did you not just see me take out that gnarly beast? I have my own room on the Chimera. Is this really happening? Come on, man. I am Iron Man. Indeed. I am Iron Man. Shut up. Oh, you know, what? in one of my stories, Iron Man has to shoot out a bunch no. of things to cover for fun. No. No. I mean, I just flew on a Quinjet to a secret shield base. Uh, we saw Nick Fury, and, and now I'm talking to Jarvis and not keeping my cool at all. <laughs> what are we supposed to do but hate this bitch? Kamala, I never really fit in before. I mean, uh, superheroes were my world, and I figured if I could just... Uh, if I could just win that fan fiction competition, you know, then everything would... Hello, beta testers. Has developer Rocksteady made a games as a service before? Has developer Rocksteady put out a game in the last eight years? Do games as a service typically work out well? Have they chosen an effortlessly monetizable team for the game they intend to include a battle pass in? No. To all these questions, no. In fact, They've taken a wrench to Harley Quinn's face and ruined the most popular, culturally relevant, and lucrative female character DC has to offer right now. In three DC films, Harley Quinn is portrayed by the dazzling, bombshell Margot Robbie, a woman literally cast as Barbie. Dev slave away for years working on things that may or may not even see the light of day, only to inevitably end up reduced to a number on some website they'd have to pay shills to lie and influence their product into relevance. What if I told you there was a way to telegraph at a glance that you were willing to meet fans by representing and in that you have failed right off the bat and you will learn this lesson as Avengers learned it before you as dumb, slow, clunky, dated and woke as Gotham Knights was even they didn't fight reality and get in the way of profit. Allow me to be blunt, two teenage nuisance stretchy Muslims and two archer girls would make a more appealing team than ugly Harley and the gang. Good luck selling gun skins rock steady. You're gonna need it. Beta testers, Mazel tov. We never thought we'd see a dumber move than a Kamala Khan-centric Avengers game with two archers as the first DLC heroes months and months and months after launch. When Ant-Man, Wasp, Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, Quicksilver, Ms. Marvel, you name it, was not even in that game. But here you are, Soy Sauce Squad, a game that I might honestly have no shame living in if it was as polished as the game that came out eight years ago and just allowed other bat universe people as playable characters. But those games had Batman, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, Red Hood, Nightwing, Robin, Batgirl, and they weren't just there, as they are in your new game. They were effortlessly their best video game incarnations, incredibly brought to life with attention to detail, loving respect for the source material, and a bit of human appeal that can silence most who simply gaze at it. This is what sells. Regardless of what woke worm in your studio is trying to turn your work into wasted time, this is what sells. This is what kept comic books relevant. And if you take that away, you're taking the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park. Let these Eastern games handle it and close up shop because you will be embarrassed and we will take pride 
in making an example out of you. I speak directly to you, developer. I dare you. I dare you to be less than free games and charge more. I dare you to come close to the scumbag path that Marvel's Avengers tread. A day? A day before they told everybody that their game is shut down? They were putting out $70 packs for skins. You know what they're comparing you to out in these streets? And it's because look at your dumbass. And I dare you to dismiss me as some fuckwad. He's just a coomer that's looking for big titties on bitches. I want equality because you people have been squawking about it for over half a fucking decade. So fucking show. Oh, shut the fuck up. You're not entitled to anybody's money. Eight years is a long time. We've seen bigger. And, and crazier studios run things into the ground. You remember Halo Infinite? If you're significantly out of touch with this, we promise it'll be the end. I recently asked a developer about a skin being omitted from their comic book game and got an answer that contradicted the fact that his game sells skins in his shop that bizarrely don't fit the story incarnation of the character, but I guess when it comes to women in a leotard, it's too edgy. You know what I mean? He specified that it was his choice as well to make in how she looked. So going off of his honesty, I assume that that's what's going on at Rocksteady 2. There's somebody in there that's just like, mm-mm, can't have Harley like that. Not in our modern game. Your modern game will receive modern shame and modern financial support, which is to say, not much. You've squandered your chance to sell at a glance. And I am sure that with razor sharp writing, this is just gonna be so amazing that people won't even care, right? Not the overly quippy woke garbage that's Joss Whedon crazy and we're seeing it in everything, right? I've got news for your ass. Most people are done with this shit. And I'll show you a quick excerpt of some of the things that I've been paying attention to. If people can smell that Gotham Knights on you, they can smell that Saints Row smell, that Forspoken on you, they can smell some of that Midnight Suns. Uh, 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 what happened? What happened? The talent left. That's what happened. We've already seen morons open in their mouth to spew that diarrhea take, and I'm certain the gaslighting and the you better not attack the developers will start soon. And, and I'm ready. <laughs> I hope for all of our sakes, for once, I'm wrong. You burn now, grass. No one will mow you ever again. I'm a professor of setting stuff on fire! Smashy, smashy, smash, smash! Terrible writing, terrible writing, terrible. We're always punching up. We want to be absurdist, we don't want to be mean. Nowadays, we want to laugh with everybody, not at people. You know, it's it's basically, you can be funny and still be decent. Wow, some, dude! Some things we did did not age well, and we're not doing that. What the fuck? A bonus. Oh, fuck. What the actual goddamn She's fuck? Demon. Never the believe. Actual uh, goddamn motherfucking goddamn fuck. Uh, crap, crap, crap. The, crap, the crap, license yeah, music. Goddamn fucking shit. Crap, there might be some music right now. I don't know. Swipe, Probably is. Swipe, crap, 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 and crap. Please don't be too harsh in the comments. <laughs> My biggest worry was the caliber of the writing, and I can proudly claim that my worries were justified. Worst writing I think I've ever seen. The writing let down many of the characters in a variety of ways. The writing is downright terrible. The writing in this is absolutely nauseating. Awful abbey where they all live. It's like some kind of YouTuber house. And yes, it is that bad. I must unfortunately be too black to have ever had anyone turn to me and say, everyone tells me I've got the gift of gab. Wanna get your train game on? If not, we can talk a minute. Everyone tells me I've got the gift of gab. How's your mental health? A good portion of this darkness hunting game is mental health and processing intense situations. Dude, 